from telling you to kill yourself over a video that they dislike, to telling you that your cha whole channel sucks just because of a single video, we bring you 10 dumb things haters do or say. We all know haters. They're those disgusting female dogs that think they have the right to say anything they want. Of course, I know what freedom of speech is, and obviously they have the right to state their own opinion. But here are 10 dumb things that they all do, sometimes not even realizing it. Number one, stalk your channel. This type of hater basically, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. They uh, stalk your channel. This is the more type of clingy hater that enjoys inflicting assaults on you, your talent, your passion, and your video. They seem to be quite obsessed with you and your content, seeing as they post hate on every one of their videos, even if they enjoy it. So the best option is to block and report them from your channel immediately if they start hating on two or three videos of yours in a row. This enhances the likelihood of them stalking your channel and ending up posting hate on every one of your videos. Oftentimes, you can call this one the spammer, but I like to refer to them as the stalker, seeing as they post hate on every one of your videos. And they also seem to be quite clingy and tell you to do stuff that you should not. Number two, being hypocritical. Oftentimes, haters find it quite enjoyable and fun to insult someone because of their talent slash passion. For example, there are numerous boys that continue to hate on LPS and make LPS cringe compilations, encouraging us to commit suicide just for what we do and what we enjoy. Even though they do, in fact, enjoy playing with toys themselves. Either they are Littlest Pet Shops, or they're similar to Littlest Pet Shops. Or who knows, maybe they're just being hypocritical about anything random. For example, they may say you're mean, rude, and stupid, even though, well, you know. They are being mean and rude and stupid by pointing it out for themselves and shoving it down your throat. And who knows, maybe you're not even being mean, rude, or stupid in the making of the video. A lot, and I do mean basically the majority of haters out there don't even know how to spell and they haven't even gone to school and learned English or grammar. They enjoy pointing out that you are stupid with like, what, an O in the word? People, please, keep your five to six year old kids under control. Number three, they report you for absolutely nothing. This type of hater enjoys making you look bad in front of other people when you've done absolutely nothing wrong to them or anyone else around you. If someone is making a video encouraging people to uh, kill themselves or something super serious like that, then yes, their video ought to be flagged and definitely taken off of YouTube. Their users should be blocked and reported and they should not be able to create another account after inflicting assaults on many who watch their content. However, reporting someone for something they didn't do is just plain ridiculous and completely useless, seeing as nothing will happen in the process of doing it, other than, well, showing how foolish you are being. For example, let's say someone says you are being bad because you're making a Littlest Pet Shop drama series. They are angry because you use little kids toys to make something that is so mature. Well, clearly they have not seen Littlest Pet Shop popular or any of the other thousands of drama series or millions of channels on YouTube that enjoy opening LPS and other toys similar. If you know LPS, you know LPS popular, so it's their responsibility for letting their young children on the internet. For example, I had a parent let their 8-year-old child on the internet after talking about... After talking about, like eating disorders in one of my videos, they got angry and claimed that their child was then not eating and developing an eating disorder. Look, if I have a mature series, I will clearly put in the description PG or PG-13 like an LPS because of you. We'll also notice in the first episode, in the top left corner in the beginning of the video, it clearly says PG in big bold white letters. 
that's pretty much some of the only mature content on my channel. So, yeah, that's on them. Especially for letting a young child on the internet. Therefore, reporting you. Okay, that just enhanced the awkwardness of the situation. Number four, encourage suicide. Encouraging suicide and telling someone to kill themselves counts as an assault. In fact, not just as an, an, an assault, not just as it offensive, but it is also illegal. Encouraging suicide is something that you could be charged and jailed with. It is against the law and you there will be severe consequences for those type of actions. The haters either do not care or just don't know. It is very likely that most of them just don't care seeing as, you know, you know haters, okay? You know them. If someone encourages suicide or tells you to kill yourself, you ought to tell a parent or trustworthy administrator immediately. If your family has a lawyer, you could even tell him. He will take care of the situation as there will be severe consequences for that uh, user, whether they meant it or not. Even if they do not inflict the assault multiple times, it is still very wrong and illegal to do so, even just once. Number five. Hate because they're insecure with their own lives. You will often come across that type of hater that always hates themselves for who they are. They are very unproud and quite frankly not confident in their self or what they are doing with their lives. Therefore, hating on someone and making themselves seem like an even worse person is the proper solution to all their problems. Instead of getting psychological help or talking to a trustworthy parent, guardian, or administrator about how they are feeling about themselves, and thus fixing their problems and issues, therefore not having to hate on anyone. Yeah. Yeah. Just kind of summed it all up for you haters out there that think that you are a bad person. You can always get psychological help or a therapist and tell them how you are feeling about yourself. You are beautiful and hating on someone and encouraging them to commit suicide, which once again is against the law, well, that's not going to fix anything. Number six, hate because they're bored. Never in my life have I seen or heard something so childish and silly. Hating on someone and bullying them for what they do just because you're bored is certainly not the answer. If you are suffering from an, a disorder, autism, or any sort of problem in your life, well, guess what? Like I said before, get some psychological help. Oftentimes, haters find it funny and quite hilarious and a hobby and a fun-filled activity to hate on other users just because of their content. Honestly, that is certainly not the answer to their problems and obviously they have no idea what they're doing with their lives. Most haters just frequently hate on you and your content, even though they enjoy it actually, just because they are bored with their own pathetic sorry lives. Once again, get some psychological help. There's always help around a corner. There's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Hating on someone and bullying them and committing mental abuse, which is, again, against the law, well, let's just say there's going to be severe consequences and that's not the answer to your problems. Obviously, since you're bored, you might as well do some chores or something useful for the world, like picking up litter on the streets or something, which is also against the law. Not picking up the litter, but littering itself, of course. Maybe you could spread the word that bullying and mental abuse is wrong and that encouraging suicide is illegal and that hating on others' content is very wrong. Donate to a charity or something. I don't know, do something useful for your life. Go pee, go poop, do something other than hate on people and commit, and commit laws. Seriously? Is, is that really the answer to, to your boredom? Did, did, did I really did I did I really just witness oh, okay you know what let's just move on number seven they steal your content even after saying that it's bad quality oftentimes haters love to hate on you obviously for attention which is obviously really barking low and therefore leading to them stealing your own content or even hacking into your account for the attention that they've been seeking for, even after saying that your content is bad quality. And this, my friends, is why you never give out your password to someone you don't know, or to anyone really, unless it's a really close family member. <sighs> listen, 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 listen. 
Obviously, these people are extremely hypocritical, bringing us back to number two on the list, and they are bored with their own lives, bringing us back to the previous number on the list. Obviously, all they want is attention, 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 attention. So what they really want to do is steal your content even after saying that they hate it and it's one of the worst videos they've ever seen. After claiming that it's such bad quality crap, they decide to steal it for their own or copy you and claim it as their own. D done, done, done. Number eight, they hate for attention. Bringing us back to the previous number on the list, obviously this one seeks nothing but attention. This type of hater frequently visits your channel, similar to number one on the list, the one that stalks your channel, and is obsessed with you and extremely clingy even though they said that your content is bad. This type of hater clearly just wants attention. Even if they think your videos are good and they may even leave you a thumbs up anonymously, they still say that it's bad quality for attention and often fail to admit so. Dudes, if you want attention, go to Tiffany & Co and then go to school. Done. Done. Yeah, can't afford it, can you? I didn't think so. So why don't you do something useful and make your own YouTube videos? Don't have an LPS collection? Do some chores or something nice for your family and friends to easily earn allowance, which is what I do. It is quite unsmart and very, well, sorry, I'm gonna say it, stupid to even just hate for attention. Besides, bullying and mental abuse are against the law, like I said. Telling someone to kill themselves just because of the talent or passion, even if you really enjoy their videos, is just so low and something you can easily be charged and jailed with. As mentioned earlier, obviously this hater has no idea what they're doing th with their lives and bringing the us back to number six on the list, they're simply just bored with it. Number nine, rave about how good you are to other people they know while hating on you directly. This hater is quite rare. This one frequently raves to other people they know, such as family members or friends, how good you and your content is, while hating on you directly, without their parents or someone that looks after them knowing it. Honestly, I like how they're spreading the word about how great your channel is. That is quite appreciative and supportive, but it is pathetic and unnecessary to just hate on your channel, and the reason they're probably hating directly to you but raving about how good you are to other people is probably because, once again, they just want attention, bringing us back to number seven and eight. This is a very dumb move, honestly, and you should not be doing that because it's just going to get you less and less fans and subscribers in your life. And honestly, it will make you a pretty bad person. Therefore, making you start to hate on other people for real without raving about how good they are. LPS tubers work hard on their videos, whether they're young or teenagers. It doesn't really matter age-wise, but that does make their videos less professional if they're just younger kids. Either way, they work hard on their videos and try their best. As they mature and grow, well, they will start to make better LPS videos. So either way, all LPS tubers work very hard on their if if videos and put the time and effort into them that they deserve. Number 10, subscribe to your channel. I know it sounds super odd and weird, but that's only because it is. If you think it's odd and weird because of the rarity of it, well, it's actually quite common. There are often haters that end up subscribing to your channel even after they've said that you're a bad quality channel. This is kind of similar to the previous number on the list. They rave about how good you and your content is, but they hate on you directly. I cannot explain to you in mere words how many haters I've gotten that have already subscribed to my channel. Honestly, this is getting a little bit ridiculous. I do appreciate the support they're giving to me. I guess you could call it that. But if you like my videos and my content and what I do for you, why are you hating on me? That literally brings us back to number nine. Basically the same thing, only this one's way more ridiculous. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Bob from LPS Awesome TV signing out. Be sure to stay kawaii out there. L -L -I -S -O -N.